Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. This is Foul Pal Drill speaking, and in today's video, we will be talking about some common deficiencies in your Phalaenopsis orchid and what fertilizers that we can use to cure them. Stay tuned. So, NPK. The first number on your NPK, like I said, is nitrogen. Nitrogen is what Phalaenopsis orchids needs the most and have the hardest time to find living in our environment. So what um, the nitrogen deficiency looks like is this right here where you have leaves falling off the bottom and not always pulling all of the nutrients out before. This is how you want your leaf to look once it drops off your Phalaenopsis orchids. Once it starts pulling from there, and a lot of times you will see it in your middle leaves. Look at this. The burning end tip, that's a nitrogen deficiency, okay? So that really has a part to play in the pH of the pot. Like I said earlier, if the pH in the pot is not right, if the media is broken down, those nutrients will not even be absorbed. Please do not get this confused or mixed up with overpotting or overwatering your Phalaenopsis orchids because this is an orchid in complete moss. I'm only watering it probably once a month, okay, in the winter time. This also is a common ailment. As you can see, when you have those bottom leaves pulling off naturally, but doing it at an expedited rate because you have a lot of active new growth. So you have to be able to keep up with that. Um, okay, here we go. I actually see a leaf coming out right here. So this orchid right here needs to be repotted and it needs to have um, nitrogen available for it immediately because we. this is how we want the nutrients to be pulled from the leaf, okay? We want it to be a slow process, and um, we definitely don't want to lose no more than three leaves, but because we are supplementing our Phalaenopsis orchids with so many organic fertilizers, and we're using a well-balanced fertilizer as well, once we repot our Phalaenopsis orchids, we are not out of the woodworks. After you repot your Phalaenopsis orchids into something that is predominantly bark, that is going to be nitrogen deficient. So you want to make sure the um, after two days of um, potting your new Phalaenopsis orchids to give it a high nitrogen fertilizer to keep it from having those deficiencies, okay? Also, you want to make sure that you foliar feed it with some of that seaweed kelp, okay? We will get to that, but you got to stay tuned. Stay tuned, foul pals. So, now we're talking about calcium deficiencies. Calcium deficiencies in your Phalaenopsis orchids will give you those splitting leaves, okay? Just like we need calcium for strong bones, our Phalaenopsis orchids need calcium for strong, healthy cell walls. And what those healthy, strong cell walls is going to protect it from is if you have outdoor Phalaenopsis, it will give it extra protection from the sun. It will make it um, harder for bugs to penetrate, harder for viruses. So calcium is something that we really want to make sure that we're giving our Phalaenopsis orchids. And also keep in mind, like you have net nitrogen and magnesium that can go from leaf to leaf transported and used for different locations, um, the calcium is not the same. Calcium cannot be um, trans transported from leaf to leaf. So also keep in mind that when you have a well-balanced fertilizer, NPK, calcium is not even considered, okay? So that's why I love using me some CalMag, especially if I'm using um, using it with sphagnum moss, okay? Now, if you're growing with bark, if you have a lot of bark, then you could use some of those pellets, but keep in mind that the pellets from the, um, the pellets right here from the garden line will actually raise the pH in your pot. So that is not something that we're looking forward to doing, okay? That's a whole different video. So I like to use the cow mag that's in a salutable form that's going to be available right there, okay? As you can see, it has just a little nitrogen, which is very good. A little bit, a lot of calcium and a little bit of magnesium. So that is very, very great. 
very great for our Phalaenopsis orchids. And believe it or not, cow magic with a little bit of Epsom salt is actually what I love to feed my Phalaenopsis orchids that are in spike, okay? Not in bloom, but in spike. Stay pal, pal. So now we're going to talk about what a magnesium deficiency looks like in your Phalaenopsis orchids. Can you see the discoloration in the lower leaves? It's not pulling nutrients out of it. It's just, it does not have good chlorophyll. And if it does not have good chlorophyll, it will not be able to photosynthesize adequately. So that's something that you definitely want to keep a eye on. And what I like to use is the foliar feed. I like to um, drench my orchids before I pot them into new media using the seaweed extract, which is going to provide extra potassium for it, which is good for the overall health of your Phalaenopsis orchids. And it will also stimulate the hormones to produce new roots for you, okay? We have to have new roots to be able to give it the nutrients that it would need to even absorb it. Okay, so Fal Pals, remembering that we are not talking about mixing these fertilizers together. That's a whole different watering video. In this video, I simply wanted to show you some of the common deficiencies that your Phalaenopsis orchids have because I don't want you to think that because um, you see deficiencies in your orchid that you're thinking you're watering it too much or something to that effect. We don't want you to think that it's disease. We want you to be um, on point. We want you to be well-versed. We want you to be notified, educated on the deficiencies that your Phalaenopsis orchids have because that is how you're going to be able to treat it. That's how you're going to be able to care for it, okay? I know Phalaenopsis problems, some of them look very similar. So hopefully in this video, it will at least give you a little bit more distinctive eye for your Phalaenopsis orchids in the future. Now, Phalaenopsis, I know we just briefly touched this subject. We will talk more about it later this year. But I thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Until next time.